everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Heaven Dust 2 where last time round I was trying to get that flame key that's flashing at the top of the screen and I couldn't work out how to get up here. But that's because I was being an idiot and basically I had this in the right place. I just need to put that up there and collect this and then we'll collect that and then we'll lower that. Ah, uh, then I go up, need to go up there to press the button. That kind of sucks, because that's a long way away. And there's a guy down here. Not sure his name. But he, I can trade with him. And I can trade herbal and herbal thingy, red herbs even, for heavy pistol ammo. And there is actually a heavy pistol later on. Which is good. I haven't got any shotgun. I haven't got the shotgun, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. But I'm going to trade... Red herbs? Yeah, I can do it two more times. And then this I can do infinite amount of times. I'll do that once. Cool. Let's leave him. And, yeah, let's go upstairs. So, how do I do that? It's out this way, I think. And I'm going to drop some stuff off. I don't need the heavy pistol ammo at the moment. I don't need the shotgun ammo. I don't need that. And the spore. I will turn into grenades. Because at the moment, that's the only thing it's used for. So, that gives me seven grenades. Awesome. That is very handy indeed. And right, where is the elevator? Let's go down to go up, basically. Which is fine. There we go, in we go, down we go. And I hope everyone enjoys the video. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we shall get things going. I'm gonna re-equip the pistol because I think that's still the best weapon to be using, because none of the zombies are all that scary, so the big gun is not really needed just yet. I only had it out because that I thought that guy that I was talking to was an enemy, or a zombie, fully armoured and all that, but he was not, which is good. So, spin you around, and once more, oh, spinning, I might as well make a move. But yeah, that's that done, and then that comes down and we get the key, and now we can make some progress. Goddess guides the way. Yes, she does. And down we go. So, this opens at least two doors that I'm remembering. At least two doors. We'll see how many other doors it opens. I need to go... Back up the elevator. And then we are here, basically. It's weird how the entrance area is actually on the first floor. I guess. Maybe we start, obviously, in the basement. Takes the key. Right, so where can we go? We can open this door here. Apparently there's two more flowers here. And you can open this door here. That's the shooting range. So I might go through there and through there. And then there's no other way out of there at the moment. Is that it for it at the moment? That's ammo in the storage, which we go through there but to get... I think that is it at the moment. Let me just check to see if there's any more red herbs over here. I don't think there is. No, so why is it saying there is? Unless it's just not updated it. I'm guessing that is the only reason. So let's go in here. And unlock our first flame door. Awesome. And yeah, you know there's gonna be zombies in here. 
Ooh, there's not. Not yet, anyway. Gunpowder B. I think I'll make shotgun ammo. Gunpowder A. Okay, there's something out there. There's something there. Let's pick up the bullets. What does this do? Okay. Ah, I missed it. So it's going to keep going. Wow, that's hard. Okay. That's interesting. So I'm going to be able to get this. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, we got that one. Got that one. This one's going to be tricky. But we're going to go for it. Ah, just about got it. Lovely. So what do we get? We get uh, fire grenades. I'm up to nine of those. And in here we get the Bale Fire Shotgun 1. Awesome. And in here we get Shotgun Part B. So is that straight away an upgrade? Well, we're about to find out if I go out here. Oh, dear God. That's... Gonna need the shotgun. Yeah. Gonna need the shotgun. I need to equip it first, though. Uh, equip to two... And, oh, wait, part one and part two, did I pick up part two? No, because I didn't have the space. Now I do. Experimental shotgun frame. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to be doing that. Right, so we got six shotgun shells currently. Oh, he hit me, I think. Come on. Right, we got him down. This one we could hit in the back. We could have. Okay, right. Getting hit like that is not great for your health. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's not quite aiming at it. One last shell. Okay, we're not looking so good now, but I think we can get him. Awesome. Uh, right, let's go to inventory and why? No, wrong button. Use that. We used it. Awesome. And then I'm thinking... Combine with you. Make shotgun shells. Awesome. So if I... Do that. There's actually a note here. It's, I'm guessing it's to... Yeah. To... Show us what we've already done, basically. Which is fine. And we're going to come out here... We're going to modify you. Oh no. Okay, hang on a second. 
No, wrong key. Can I unequip that? Combine with... I'm guessing that's for the Balefire 2, or the Modify, or whatever the, um, the upgrade is, basically. Okay, so... We have another... Well, Rib Dude. Whatever you want to call him. Uh, climb down, climb down. Right. He's tough, and I don't like him. And the shotgun doesn't target quick enough, I'm finding. Ah, oh, you get down, you get down. It's fine, we'll go get some more healing in a second. No, 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 no. Go away, right. Let's reload. I think it is because the shotgun needs to be closer. No. No, we can do it from the same distance, it's just it takes time. So, we can now get it here. And there is a big dude in here by the looks of things. Where the hell did you come from? Well, you're down. Awesome. I think I still like the pistol the most. Still is the most versatile weapon, I would say. Can I go all the way along to the end? I can. And he's dead. Awesome. I don't think he explodes after death. No, he doesn't. Good. Uh, metal shields. And Mosquito Incident 2. In 1980, after a series of events, Heaven Dust Research was relocated to America at the Stardust Research Center Mansion. Over the next few years, the research center developed Europa I virus, Europa 2 virus, and Act Equatorial virus from heaven dust. Two things need to work on. Two things need to work on. One, temperature adaptability. Two, eliminate the zombification side effect. Europa 1 can survive the temperature zone, but there is no solution to the side effect. Two, has both of them, but not perfectly. Evidence suggests that the host would suffer defamation and intelligence degradation. Equatorial virus, on the other hand, uses the tropical plants as hosts for secondary extraction, which somewhat reduces the side effect of zombification, but it cannot adapt to the high temperature environment. Here is the interesting part. Staff names Steve was collecting evidence to expose the illegal experiments in the mansion, and Steve somehow became the key to extract Europa 2 virus, which is me, basically. I am the key to it all. And then... Oh wait, is there... There's another report there. And this is the Mosquito Incident 3. Former director at Aldington initiated a plan. The research center recruits new staff as virus test subjects. Steve is one of the new staff. His blood is quite similar to the Torkians. The heaven dust adapted well to his body later... The researchers extracted Europa 2 virus from him. Steve became the second host. Because of this, there is no information regarding the first host. Oh. Steve was soon caught on gathering evidence and got locked up. That is, when the virus leakage happened, presu presumably it was mosquitoes par it was mosquitoes passed the virus outside of the research area. So the biohazard was named the Mosquito Incidents. The incident triggered the mansion's self-destruct protocol. Most of the staff were wiped out along with along the wiped out along the files. Along with the files. Shockingly, the retrieval team found the second host when they arrived at the site. 
Though exhausted, he managed to survive. Stephen eventually ended up in the Stardust First Research Center, which is here and now. There we go. So, pull that that way. And I'll probably need to push it from the other way a little bit. And we can get out there. What is this way? The broken elevator. Ah, I can start using my shotgun to get stuff now. So, let's go out here and along here. And we've got this. And that's all we need to do. Awesome. I was waiting for it to aim, but it didn't. 15 shotgun shells. Awesome. And... Enhanced magazine. Aha. Handy. Right, so that's that. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. But I kind of want to go break some barricades. And one of those is... Here, I think. Yeah, it's just here. But there's also one here, which I completely didn't realise. So, let's uh, take you out. Oh, that just looped back into there. Okay, so that kind of wasn't worth it. But, this might be... Come on, come on. No! Really? That still didn't kill him. Ah, oh, those barrels suck. You know what, I kind of want to take out all the zombies in the game, so... Sorry! Yeah, you're dead. So what do we need to open this down here? Passcode, okay, that's fine. I need a circle thing there, that doesn't open at all. And in here, we need the fingerprints, that's right. So, downstairs it is, I think. Okay, one more zombie down. And, well, nothing in there that we want to use. No, we want to go through here, around, no, not that way, down here. And we need a shotgun. He went down quick enough. Right, and this guy. Ah. There's one guy hidden. Alright, and then we can finish him off with a pistol. Sorted! A uh, small generator may be electric shotgun retriever. Ah, we need electric grenades. I've seen this. This also needs to go all the way to there. And what is coming out? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It is getting us a general shock absorber. Okay. Increased fire rate. Installing an series guns on the modding table does not compat. Uh, does not compatibility with heavy pistol. That's fine. That is totally fine. Yeah. Well, we've got. I-series. These are I-series. Yes. 
Oh, can I have... I might be able to put it on that as well. So I think that's all of the... Uh, shotgun barricades dealt with that I'm aware of and that I can remember. So next up, it's... We have no reason to go in there. There's two zombies in there, but that's blocked anyway. So... Right, what else am I forgetting? The shield thing. Where do we need to put the shield? So we've been in there. That's a random key. That's a key key. Um, we haven't got level 3 clearance just yet, or level 3 cards. Okay, so there was one more shotgun barricade, which I didn't even realise existed. And we can go outside. Do you got me, Alexander? Loud and clear, Steve. I just got out the new building. It looks even worse outside. What the hell happened? Well, you may have guessed it. The virus spread too fast and the monsters took over the research center. Damn it, another virus leak. I don't know what exactly happened. The first attack was in the conference earlier and then things all went down. There's no point discussing that anymore. Let's focus on what we are doing right now. Okay, what should I do next? Uh, turn left and first... Turn left on the first fork road, and then follow the road until you see four statues at a gate, which will lead you to the old building area. A gate and statues, let me guess, it's another puzzle that blocks me. Ahem, the door is closed today. We can't let loose, let those reporters just roam freely in here. Yeah, sure, how do I open it? Uh, can, you can use the beam from the statues to activate the gate, or you can just find the metal shield to reflect the beam. Okay, so we got the metal shields. Uh, you don't know where it is. Um, I'm the supervisor, not the utility man. Anyway, find the metal shield and open the gates. Hurry up, Steve. Okay, so that's fine. And I'm going to leave it here, I would say. Once I... Special force supply cash, you need the key card to open it. Okay, once we have determined that we can't open that. Ooh, shotgun shells, but yes. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, want to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you next time for some more. Uh, I'm not going any further because there's zombies. So, yes, thank you all. Good night, have fun, and I'll see you next time.